Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Golden Star! Last episode, uh, I talked about the Grievous Mace. Guess what? I got it! Cut to a clip! Yay! So, I also got some other stuff as well. Uh, we got another burning axe. Don't think... No, so that could just be sold, just free money, essentially. Uh, what else did we get? I dropped a bunch of- I got another Earth Shield, I guess. Can I give this to anyone else? No. It's also a nice healing item. I'm probably never gonna need it, to be honest. Uh, I got, got another Earth Shield. Oops. What else? Do we get anything else here? Um, I really should have designated one person to- Oh, Mia's Curse, that's right. Okay, we've already seen the Demonic Staff. So, the thing with, um, cursed items, is you'll see- we do not have the ability to remove it, and if you go to any other piece of equipment, you'll see remove, any equipment you can equip, so you can equip it using the equip button, but with demonic stuff, or cursed stuff I should say, it's cursed. That's the only real way of knowing. You get a general idea if something's cursed if you go to the menu, um, and it's red. <laughs> That's normally a little bit of indication. Oh, I also got spirit armor apparently. Uh, what does Isaac have? Let's call him Garrett. I'm sorry, I did not mean to insult you like that. Water jacket, wow, that's the first time in a while I've gotten something better than that. Alright, so they re the only way to remove curses, as far as I remember, is go talk to a healer, and you'll see clear poison, repel evil, remove curse. Hmm, so you have, uh, you wish to have, hmm. Hmm, so you wish to have the curse equipment removed, do you? Who shall I remove the curse? It costs 210 coins, and here's the music. Okay, or not. Donate 210 coins for me to remove Mia's curse. Shall I begin? Here we go. That shall remove the curse. <laughs> that music kind of scared me for some reason. Because there's a move. Just so you know, all the curse curse has been removed. Okay. So, all that really does is it doesn't like get rid of the curse from the item. You can re equip it. If you did, it would be just as bad. Uh, Alright, so 241. This should be a better weapon, right? Where, where's the stinking mace? There it is. Garrett has it. 241. Oh, it's not! Oh, well, that's okay. Okay, so right before we go, we're gonna quickly sell some stuff, because my inventory is pretty full. I think- Oh yeah, I used up all my lucky metals, which actually isn't really a- wasn't really a good call, because those will be useful for us eventually. In the very, 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 very distant future. Uh, okay, let's sell some of this stuff. Once again, we don't really need a whole lot of money at this point in the game. <clears throat> actually, that's probably not true, but... <laughs> It's nice to have a bunch going on here. Um, I also took the time, I actually don't know why I never did this to begin with. I took the time off screen to write down everything. I ever sell this healing ring, we don't really need it. Same with this unicorn ring, we don't need that either. It's time to let go, burning axe. Uh, vial will keep. We have a bunch of healing items, we really should toss around, yeah. It's kind of unfortunate we're lowering Mia's, ooh, glittering tiara, I don't think I, I don't know if I, if any, hmm. Let's see if that can be equipped to anyone. I don't think it can because we got that, that mithril circlet. Yeah, let's see if it can be equipped to Oh, it is, okay, it is a tiara. I guess that does make sense. Right, let's quickly sell that, and then we'll finally be on our way onwards to the next adventure. There we go. Now we got plenty of room. So at this point in the game, I actually haven't really practiced, and that's okay. I think we're far enough in the game now that I don't really need any more reminders. Uh, you may notice the screen's a bit shaky. Ignore that for now. <laughs> here we go, the Sahala Desert. Uh, there's quite a bit of new enemies in here. Let's see here. We got the Vile Dirge, um, Kobold, and also Orc Captains. We've already seen all those before, except the Orc Captains. Um, we will go over that once we reach them. A sandstorm! That'd be chill if we got caught up in one of those. Something is wrong. Wow, there's so many. I don't know why this happens, because there are a lot in this desert, however, you know, this like the first sandstorm we see, he says this. Huh. If we don't get past here, we'll never make it to Bobby Lighthouse. We must step carefully if we hope to escape the desert. Well, spoiler alert, wherever you go, there will be sandstorms blocking the path. You have to go up in them. Oops, wrong button. And if you wait long enough, this will happen, and I'll throw you right in front of Sahala. Happens every single time, you wait too long. So what we're gonna do instead here. As I remember last time, the soldiers were commenting on how Satoris and Co. used uh, water. Specifically, uh, columns of water appeared. So we're gonna actually want to use douse. I think this actually took me quite a while to figure out. 
Uh, and here we go. We are now fighting a tornado lizard. Lizard. Uh, I'll go over what his stats are once I get through this menu. There we go. All right. So, sand tornado lizard. I keep wanting to help sand lizard for some reason. Uh, where are they on the list here? Tor tornado lizard. There we go. Uh, they're level 25. 530 hit points. Wow, that went down pretty quickly. And Weasel Claw, you have a 12.5% chance to get a Weasel Claw. They drop 477 gold, 620 experience points. They actually have two turns. Now, this is the first, like, these are kind of like mini bosses in a sense. Here's a chest. Uh, a virtuous armlet. Have you seen a Weasel Claw? I don't think I've ever used a Weasel Claw. Ooh. Hmm. That's a pretty nice defense buff. Mia's attack is over 200, Ivan's is that, so you know what, we'll give it to Mia. Wait, wouldn't Mia unequip there? Is, there, is that anything? Battle gloves, perhaps that could be useful to someone else? No. It'd be nice for the attack up, but... Well, it only lower... Nah, but it's not, that's not really worth it, because it's only up three attack, down one defense. <clears throat> um, st uh, tornado lizards also have the ability to use Storm Ray, Impact, Wind Slash, Ward, Tornado, and Wing Flutter, so... Most of those are pretty typical ward boost defense. Ah, here we go. Orc captain. So these are these orc captains here. You can actually see them on the overworld before Sahala and just after the Gondolin passage. There's a small area here, and there's also the Herodins. All right, so Herodins. We go over those guys first. The level 22. They have 231 hit points, 164 gold, 150 experience points. They have a 3.125% chance of dropping a nut. They'll be able to use uh, wind slash. Uh, Banshee Hell, which, which could stun you. They can also use Crazy Voice, which lowers Synergy Points, which is a pain in the booty hole. Alright, these guys should both be weak enough now. I could just do this. Or Captains, level 21. They have 231 hit points. Uh, they drop 142 gold and 125 experience points. They have a 6.25% chance of dropping a smoke bomb. Um, they, have, they have the ability to use Stand Ready, which actually boosts their defense. Uh, which is actually just really two defense, right? Uh, they also have the ability to use Smoke Bomb. They have one Smoke Bomb each. They also have an Elixir, which is weird. And they have the ability to use Spasm, which hurts uh, hit points and it has a plus 40 damage thing booster. Damn, it's boosting! Whew, that's a mouthful. What do we got here? Oh, oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot that was a Tornado Lizard in this spot. Oh, I should probably start putting these Jin away. Wow, Isaac still only has two attack Jin. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Hopefully we'll find... Someone is Garrett, wow. Ivan has three, that's pretty good. Mia has three. It's weird, like, you know, Mars and Venus, they're kind of more, like, attack-based. So it's weird that those two are the ones that have the least uh, attack gen. You'd think there'd be more, but apparently not. Maybe we'll get to see the Tornado Lizard use more than one attack this turn, or not. This might kill him. Nope. Wind slash. There we go, so that's the second attack. These guys are actually pretty strong. If it was only for having one turn, it wouldn't be too bad, but because of the whole one turn or uh, two turns thing, they kind of hurt sometimes. Oops, there we go. Trying to subtly f change page pages here. There we go. Wow, 139 for Pockney, that's pretty small. Isaac's now level 22, Gallant. Let's make HP up by 7, PP up by 2, attack by 4, defense by 1, by 1, yeah, sorry. Agility by 4, 477 coins. You may be wondering, like, He's a Gallant. Why is he a Gallant? What does that mean? Uh, depending on how many Jin you get, it really it really is all dependent on um, the amount of Jin you have on you and how you mix and match them. The more Venus Jin you get, the more it changes your class name, which really just gives you more ability points. Oh, Valdurge, which we've seen before, correct? Yeah. Um, and then there's a Roach. Robo Roach and Ned. That's a reference, I think. I don't know if his name was actually Ned in, in the show I'm referencing. <laughs> that maybe sounds right. Uh, Roach is at level 22. They have 211 hit points. They have a 3.12% chance of dropping a Bramble Seed. They drop 120 gold and 144 experience points. They have the ability to use Sonic Wave, Quake Spear, and Flare Wall. Ripperoni. He's dead now. Never forget all the pepperonis. Yeah. Alright, um, I'm gonna try going all the ways here. Uh, this might actually be the correct way forward. There's a lot of tornado lizards, and they do actually respawn. I think if you just leave the screen and come back, it's either that, if you leave the screen and come back, or 
Uh, once you finish up the desert, or leave the entire desert, I suppose. Not necessarily finish it up, I suppose. I suppose, I suppose, I suppose. Oh. Bam, sucker. Wow, this, this desert actually has a lot of enemies. I have a lot of things written down here. Yay! He's dead! And st oh, wow, he's done. That's actually pretty good. Uh, may as well start uh, someone sp uh, spamming him. Um, there we go. Maybe I'll start using Synergy next turn. Just yeah, There you go, he's dead. Another Weasel's call. Holy crap. Holy baloney! I'm gonna start using Synergy next round just to do something new here. This might be the way forward. I'm pretty sure it's the way. Is it? Shoot. Yes, it is. Okay. We'll go the other ways first. Magicor. Wow, we're really. But there are a lot of enemies here. That's good. Magicor is level 22. They have 321 hit points. They drop uh, uh, 208 gold um, and 169 experience points. Their special drop is actually a brand new weapon that we. Or, sorry, it's a brand new piece of equipment we haven't seen before, so I'm probably gonna grind for that. What am I doing? I need to go to Mia. Kill Poison. Oops. Venom. Venom is a stronger version of Poison. They have a 0.78125% chance of dropping Aura Gloves, which is a spe special piece of equipment. I might go for that. I'm not entirely sure yet. I promised I'd go after all weapon drops. I might go for those gloves. I'm not entirely sure. They have the ability to use Binds, Nova, Poison Tail, and Sleep. Um, if you fell a Magic Core with a Mercury Gen, uh, it increases the odds of dropping the weapon to 3.125%. That's still pretty small. Wow, that is going to be a pain to grind for if I decide to do that. Hmm. Die, die, die! Oh, nice, you fell asleep. Great. Oh, wow! Gears on level 22, Warrior! Master of the uh, Warrior's Eruption! Uh, maximum HP up by 8, PP by 2, Attack by 3, Defense by 2, Agility by 4, Me is on level 22! Master Cleric's Wish Well, there we go, that's a great one. Uh, maximum HP up by 7, PP up by 3, Attack by 4, Defense by 1, Agility by 4, 477 coins. That's actually really good. Alright, what we got here? <gasps> it's a Mimic! I kind of vaguely remember that this is a Mimic right as I clicked on him. Let's <laughs> uh, go through our items here, our uh, moves I mean. Alright, Mimic. This Mimic is level 26, he has 997 hit points, he drops 547 gold and 669 uh, experience points. His ability is Debilitate, Sleep, Curse, Condemn, Ice Missile, which you haven't seen before, and uh, Side Drain. Alright, yeah. Alright, might. It would be nice to see him use Ice Missile, since that's actually the strongest version of uh, Ice that Mia could learn. And I don't think we'll get a high enough level button in this game to actually gain access, access to that. So it'd be cool to see an animation here. Will we get to see it though? Remains to be seen. Sleep. <laughs> the sheep. Wow, I can't believe I've never noticed that those are actual sheep before. I always thought there were bombs falling, as in like sleep bombs. But nope. Rip me a ripperoni and all the pepperoni. Uh, it's just a, well, I haven't seen eruption yet either. Is there any of these I haven't shown? Clay Spear has shown before, right? Yeah, probably. Alright, we'll use that. we use Eruption. Um, attack with Volcano Might. It uses 14 PP and it can attack three enemies. That's pretty okay. Okay. I've seen all this stuff before. Alright, I only have three PP players expecting to go into Mia's menu. Don't die! Ah, oh, I knew it! <sighs> and you got some Water of Life from the Mimic. I didn't go over that today. Yeah, I went over the coins and stuff though. Uh, oh yeah, this just loops around, so we can actually skip this guy if we want. For completion's sake, we're gonna kill him though. Ooh, kill him! Tornado lizard. Which I summon rushing. I guess we could do that. Uh, eruption. I haven't seen it, so we'll try that. Although we've probably seen eruptions from other enemies. Yeah. Wish well. So uh, restore 160 hit points to the whole party instead of 80. So it's pretty nice. Ice horn. Have we shown Ice Horn yet? I don't know. I feel like we have, but it's maybe I feel like we got that somewhat recently, so maybe not. And dead. There we had to have shown that, right? Maybe. Ah, freaking though. Gosh dangers. There's eruption, so it's essentially volcano plus like a dupl duplicated volcano. <laughs> it's two volcanoes on top of one! Ooh. Yeah, you know, let's finish him off with Jin. <laughs> Just especially for like one fighting one enemy, it's much easier just to use a bunch of Jin. 
when there's a barn, that's when it's more feasible that you might want to use, um, oops, that you might want to use, uh, uh, synergy. There we go. Wish will all be nicer, that I don't have to spam wish a bunch. Alright, so this guy should be dead, yep, he has remained dead. Hopefully we, uh, run into all the enemies here. There's a large pool of enemies we could run into. Uh, we've seen both these lads before. Yeah. Also, now we have the Grievous Maze, we actually have to attack with me a lot so we can actually see that animation. There we go! Yeah! Crazy voice, there we go. 11 PP, that's actually quite a bit, wow. Okay, no one got stunned there. Good, good, good! Bam! Actually, not a whole lot of new enemies we could see. There's, let's see here. What? One, two more regular enemies we could see after that. Things get a little strange. Wow, I'm actually like, I, I remember, I remember which way to go here perfectly. Even though I haven't played this, I actually haven't. I talk about this being one of my favorite games of all time. I actually haven't played this game in a number of years. Um, probably four or five, I would imagine. I used to play it at least once a year, and then just you know, I guess after you play the same game over and over again, you kind of get a little bit bored of it. Especially, like, you know, a linear story like this, a linear game like this, where there is a beginning and then it's a bit more difficult for. So, no, I've been all of 22! Uh, Master of the Mages, resist! Uh, maximum HP up by 7, PP by 3, attack by 3, defense by 1, jelly by 4, and some coin inks. What was that chest over here? Yep. Lucky Metal! Yay! And uh, go to the left here. Or nah. <laughs> or you get into a battle. Hopefully we run into the last two enemies soon here so we can start cutting these out, or at least using uh, um, avoid. Although we're getting through the desert. We're getting through it. We'll get through it soon enough. 11, there we go. I was hoping to be weak to that. But he's not weak to that. That's my wall. This is so gross looking. Imagine seeing that in real life. Like, freaking half your height and this big, wide, weird thing. So, oh, the right and left paths both contain treasure chests, so that's why we're going both these ways here. Also for completionist sake, I suppose. I don't think my level 2 summons will be enough to smuggle this guy to death. To snuggle him to death. We gotta use love. We gotta use love! Spam through this all. Yeah. So, this desert is actually pretty good for uh, grinding for levels if you want. Just because you know these are these are kind of mini bosses, and they do respawn, so that's good. But uh, at the same time, it is kind of I don't. Well, I I hated a lot the um. My hmm, actually kind of close to death here. Well, I hated a lot the uh, the uh. Oh, the fish. Uh, I'm not worried about him. Actually, he'll be fine. Well, I hated the the Lamican Desert, the heat meter. I didn't like that at all, to be honest with you. I. I do think that it was at least a more creative idea compared to this. Lizards everywhere! Oh! I have to actually grab that. Oh, a cookie! Wow, oh, a cookie! Uh, PP. Wow! Oh, I thought Isaac and Gary. They have the same amount of PP right now, but the total amount they could hold is not. Leave that to Mia, just for healing's sake. And another one. I'm gonna start cutting these out. So, cut away! And he's dead. That should hopefully make this a little bit more bearable instead of finding the same monster over and over again. Although I think we actually might be in close to the end here. So the soldiers left Shiba around. He, they got stuck in a. Whoa! You guys see that? Um, Shiba got stuck in the desert, but they said she should be in here somewhere. So hopefully we'll run across her soon. Maybe she's on one of these cliffs. Maybe she's on not one of these extremely linear paths that do kind of veer off the main route occasionally, but you always come back to anyways. Actually, resist we got. So that will just boost resistance to the whole party instead of just one person. Ward and resist do the same thing. So with that, you know, it's impact on high impact versus ward and then resist. Strange. Also, Ivan now has three pages of synergy. That's quite a lot. Um, alright. Hey, they're dead. <laughs> oh no. Dang it. Could have planned that out a little bit better. I should really plan based on speed, because he saw Isaac defend there and he could have attacked the Herodon and taken him out before he attacked us. I got always synergy and healing, gosh dangers. There's a purple flashy tornado over there. So, uh. 
I'm gonna quickly save here. <laughs> For, you know, no real reason. Ha 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 ha! I wonder if we can do this. Oh, wow. We are actually reaching the very end of the, um, the dungeon here. The, the desert, I suppose. Lloyd. Wind Slash. That is actually the exact same animation as the Weasel Claw. God dang, man! Wow, you guys wrecked me! Just run. Just run. Goodbye, Garrett. And when someone stuns or anything, so you see this tornado will start chasing you. It, it, oh god, it is actually to outrun it if you're smart enough. I don't know if I was smart enough, however. Oh wow, I actually thought I got hit by it, but no. I've always tried to outrun it just for fun. Uh, oh, ugh. It actually might not end well for me. Alright, <laughs> this is a very bad situation. Alright, if you keep running. Okay, okay, okay. Cat? You guys can probably hear Cat. He's meowing for no real reason. Ah! So we're gonna have to use Dallas on it. It is very possible to get to the end of this area without this. This is the boss. This is the Storm Lizard. He's just a, he's just a friendly old sap. Um. Fine, I guess. Yeah, we'll start debuffing as usual here. Defense. Yeah, I think defense is more important. Resistance as well. Uh. What is that? Hearing weird noises. I'm sorry. I think I'm being haunted by spoopy ghosts. Um. Defense is good for physical attacks, while um, resistance is good for elemental attacks, by the way. So I never oh, god dang it! Freaking 21 and a half minutes. I probably should have recognized that for fighting the boss. Oops. So the Storm Lizard! Let me flip pages here. Great, I did it. Um, yeah, he's level 28. He has 2,900 hit points. He drops 6,100 gold and 1,300 experience points. He does have a 100% uh, drop rate, 100% chance to drop something. We'll use grounds, because uh, ground is really, really, really good for um, bosses, as you might imagine. And... Yeah, there we go. He has the ability Storm Ray, Impact, Sonic Slash, which is the upgrade version of uh, Wind Slash that the Herodons were using on us earlier. Uh, Ward, Tempest, which is the upgrade version of um, Tornado, and Windstroke. He's been stunned. He's stunned and sleeping. Holy crap. Perfect. Wow. All right, here we go. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I had to see to my cat to not be screaming any longer. I think it worked. Uh, okay, yeah. You know, he's stunned and sleeping. We're not gonna bother about worrying to heal. We are fine. Oh, wow. I was like, how does he gain health? Because I use sap. <laughs> oh, no, he woke up, but he's paralyzed. Wow, great. Oh, there we go. Now he awake! Uh... Oh, we're, oh, yeah, there we go. We will use Judgment, since I use Kiton. I, I completely forgot that I did that. <laughs> Squall, perfect. I don't really want to use any of those other Jin. I guess we could use t Tonic, but that would... Wow, he's stunned again! Oh my god, man! That's why Jin are so overpowered in this game. It's like, not only do they do a lot of damage, but uh, they also like you know, have status ailments like stun, like that's crazy. And he's now in delusion as well. Judgment? Dead? Not dead. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> Get wrecked on. Ragnarok. Uh. Oh, you could use Thor. Oh wow! Oh, I didn't realize Garrett could, uh, could uh, summon now. Let's do that, shall we? There we go. Zevi go. Uh, should we use Fizz? You know what? I guess so. I think that'll be fine. He should be dead very soon, though. Come okay, on. Come okay, on. Oh. Oh my god, come on. <gasps> it's so close. Are we gonna die? Or is he gonna die? For it's not actually close at all. <laughs> As they level 23 and die, maximum HP up by 7, PV up by 3, attack by 4, defense by 1, jelly by 4, 6,100 coins, and a Psy Crystal! That's a 100% drop. There we go. And that is actually the only tornado in this area that does not respond. It does respond. Um, anyways, without further ado, I'm gonna call an episode here. I almost kept going, I was like, wait a minute, I should really end. Thanks a lot for watching, everyone! If you enjoyed the best way to support by leaving a like, subscribe to my channel if you're ready. The next one, you'll push on through the desert and hopefully find Shiba. Talk to you guys next time, bye bye